Okay, so I want to specifically look at Boyle's law. Now, Boyle's law is the relationship between volume and pressure when the temperature and the amount of gas particles are kept constant. Okay, so when we would draw a graph of our experiment, and again this is done at constant temperature, and the amount is the same. Then we will observe the following uh, relationship. Now let's just think practically about this. So you you have a setup where you can change the volume and measure the pressure. Like a syringe, for instance, you can increase or decrease the volume, but have the syringe. Um, connected with a pressure gauge to measure the pressure and what you will observe is the bigger the volume the lower the pressure and the smaller the volume the higher the pressure so you will have a relationship that looks like this now mathematically speaking you know this hyperbola and I would like to show you how we will um, calculate uh, this in regards uh, with the actual law and how we will prove the law, Boyle's law. Okay, what we are going to do is we know that this is an indirect proportionality. So we are not going to compare pressure with volume but with 1 over volume. And this will then give us a straight line. Now if the scenario changes, let's say we change the temperature or we change uh, the amount of gas particles, this graph will also change depending on different scenarios. But as long as the temperature remains constant and the amount of uh, gas particles remains constant, we can follow, it will follow a straight line in this regard. So this then means that pressure is indirectly proportional to volume. Which means that pressure will be equal to a constant times 1 over volume. And you know that this should be our um, independent variable one we will influence and change, times the constant equals our dependent variable. And this is a straight line, that's our x and that's our y. And if we have two scenarios where uh, this is now on the same line, let's say we take this line, we have a certain value for volume and another value for volume. Remember, this is 1 over volume, so if volume is bigger, that will give us a smaller number. So this is an, a bigger volume, which will give us a lower pressure, and a lower volume, which will, which will give us a higher pressure. If we have two scenarios like that, we know that P1 will be equal to K over V1. And P2 will be equal to K over V2. Which means that constant K will be equal to P1 times V1. But it's also equal to P2 times V2. In other words, um, Boyle's law will be able to be written as P1 V1 equals P2 V2. And this is Boyle's law.